Are you in the mood for a great Highlander romance novel? Man, do I have one for you. We're about to talk about it. Hi, my name's B, and welcome to my channel, Mama Needs to Read Some Romance. Because nobody in those novels would ever use my nice hand towel when the toilet paper runs out. Yeah, that happened. Today we're talking about A Highlander Never Surrenders by Paula Quinn. It's the seventh book I've read of hers. I've never read Highlander other than this author, and I adore her. To give you some context on what else I like, I really like Lisa Claypass. I've also enjoyed Eloisa James, and now I'm all about Paula Quinn, not Julia Quinn, but Paula Quinn and her Highlander romance series. This is book two in the McGregor series, and it follows Graham Grant. He is a hottie. He's got blonde curls. He wears his cap, also known as a bonnet. First time I read that, I was very confused. Bonnet? He wears it backwards. And also he's looking pretty strapping in a kilt. He is the commander of Callum's guard, and Callum is the person who was in the very first McGregor book, The Laird of the Mist. But I gotta say, I was really looking forward to reading this book because even in the first book, he almost outshines Callum. This guy is really, really hot. He's also a womanizer, unfortunately. He's a ladies' man. Women cannot stand to be away from him. He's like a magnet and he knows it. He thinks that life is just basically fighting battles. He has zero interest in ever getting himself tied down. He doesn't even really believe in love until he meets our heroine, Claire Stewart, and she's tied to a tree. There are many dead men around her and there are two men who are harassing her who she had yet to kill. The woman can handle the sword. And right now she is on a quest to save her sister who is going to be betrothed to someone that Claire does not want her to be betrothed to. Claire is one of two twins. Her brother Connor was recently killed. This is in this is a historical romance, so you're learning a lot about Scotland during this time period. In autumn of 1659, uh, there is no king on the throne and parliament is trying to take control. Really, it's a bunch of generals that are controlling England and Scotland and it's ugly, it's ugly. And uh, so anyway, Graham immediately is into Claire. He decides that he needs to protect her even though she really doesn't want his protection at all. Uh, it, they have a crazy magnetism for one another immediately. They're both fiery tempered. They're both passionate about everything they do. And I mean everything. There's a lot of adventure, a lot of uh, twists and turns of the plot. Uh, there were some things I did not see coming. Some major passion. Uh, very good. There was some more cussing in this book that I'm used to. I guess because I've been reading a lot of the proper English lady type um, historical romance. And again, I'm still sort of new to this genre. I'm still learning, but when I hear certain words, I'm just not prepared for them. So if you're gonna listen to the book, do beware. Um, even if you're not like filtering out love scenes, if you have children around, you wanna be careful. Sometimes they just are cursing. So you might wanna keep that in mind. The narrator did a decent job. He was a little bit woodeny for me. I didn't really care for him a whole lot. I liked Carrington McDuffie who did the Children of the Mist series, which comes after this series, which I'll be talking about in future videos. It's a real page turner. I was gonna try to read this in a week and then I wound up finishing it in three days, which is really saying something, but I listened to it and I read it. So it was a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. I read seven of Paula Quinn's Highlander romance so far because I accidentally read these out of order. And I think this might be my favorite. Hard to decide. I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if there's other any other Highlander authors that you recommend because I'm looking for some good ones. No matter what, I hope you're having a great day and take care, bye.